For some scenarios, it can come in super handy that you know about the battery level. Like, what is the actual battery level? Or is it charging? Or is it on energy saver? Maybe you're synchronizing files in the background. Maybe you're showing some animations and you don't want to do that whenever the user is running out of battery. Um, so that's all stuff that you can do with the Xamarin Essentials Battery API. And in this video, we're going to learn what info you can get out of it and how to actually do that. Energize. So here we see a file new Xamarin Forms application in its natural habitat. It is just sitting down here calmly on my computer. Hot Reload is waiting for me to give it a change and hot reload that bomb onto my screen. Um, so all kidding aside, this is a file new Xamarin Forms application, as you might have known from other of my videos. Um, and we are going to um, incorporate that little bit of battery magic in here. So. Um, let's update this title right here. Let's make this battery. Whoops, we're going to keep this a label. I'm just going to change the text. Um, battery sample. There we go. Save that. And that should come up here on the right in my Android um, emulator. So um, I've been doing a lot on iOS. Um, so that's probably a good thing to note and uh, you can't test this on a iOS simulator so if you're going to want to test this on iOS then you're going to have to use a physical device because the battery is not something that is simulated on the iOS simulator. Uh, also on Android is the only platform where we have to um, do extra permissions. Um, Android is the only one that needs permissions to access the battery status. Um, so um, we're going to do that actually right now on iOS and UWP, the other platforms that are supporting this. Um, you don't have to do any special permissions for this. So let's go over here to our solution, go into our Android project, um, the properties folder right here and go into the battery manifest the battery manifest really um, the Android manifest and um, here we're going to search for battery and it's going to be battery stats so here we go you can of course also manually add it to the um, XML um, the Android manifest XML um, so you know that's it save that and we're all ready to access those battery levels um, actually let's remove all of these labels right here so let's remove this text right here. I'm going to put this at 100% and I'm going to name this um, X name is battery level. There we go. Okay, first let's keep it at this and we're going to see uh, what else we have in the battery situation. Um, so let's go to this main page right here. And of course, the thing we always need to do is add the using Xamarin Essentials here above, uh, which makes it a lot easier to just now do battery dot and we'll get all the information out of the IntelliSense. Um, so I have an event right here, which is the battery info change. I'll get back to that in a minute. Then we have the charge level. So that is the thing that we want to show in the label that I've just added. Um, the energy saver status. So you can see if the energy saver is on or off and it's a enum, so it can probably have multiple statuses. Um, energy saver status changed, so you can also you know, hook into that event uh, to see if something changes uh, whenever the energy saver is enabled or disabled. Um, so the power source, is it um, um, charging, yes or no? And you can see what the power source is. Is it charged wireless or through a cable or don't doesn't the, the device know uh, because you probably want to check the documentation because there's a couple of things that you um, might want to know in regard to which platform supports um, which reporting so not all power sources are reported or differentiated um, on the different platforms so please check out the documentation for what is supported and what is not um, and then we also have the state so um, you know if it can be determined again um, it's going to see like if uh, is the battery discharging is it charging um, is it unknown is it whatever so let's just start with this charge level right here um, and as you can see it is a double um, so as always uh, with percentages um, it is reported in a value from zero to one um, so you know you have to make um, percentages out of it yourself so do this oh, here we go the battery level right battery level dot text 
is battery charge level, but that's not going to work. And we're going to do this times 100, um, add some brackets here, two string, and we also want to have the um, percentage sign, right? So here we go. Um, so this should give us the battery level. Now I need to restart my app for this to show up. Um, so let's see what else we can do. So what else do we have? Battery dot um, energy saver status. So let's just see if we can two string that. Um, add another label. Oops. Add another label here. Name is energy saver so um, i'm not going to spell out all these um, kind of things here for you because um, you know it's pretty straightforward so um, i'll let you figure the rest out yourself but i will just do a couple of here energy saver dot text right that was energy energy saver that's not it energy saver Oh, I didn't save it yet. So energy saver dot text. There we go. Uh, dot energy saver status. So let's actually see what are the possible values for this. So now I held down the command key and clicked on the value. I think on Windows, you have to hold down the control key and you will get like the same result. You will navigate to um, this kind of assembly browser where you can see all these types and you can drill down into it. Oh, so it can also have unknown. So the energy saver is unknown or it's on or it's off. Um, so that's the thing I mentioned, right? If it the energy saver is on, I think like on Android, the animations are already um, shut down at that point, but you can also determine to um, you know, um, disable some things in your application, like background synchronization of files, of data, of whatever, um, whenever the energy saver is enabled or disabled. So um, you are in control. So let's do this two string, here we go. Um, but the interesting thing is actually the events. So if we go back to battery dot battery info changed, and we can just add a um, event here, and this is now not implemented, but if we delete this and we can say, okay, the battery level dot text is now E dot charge level. Um, yeah, so let's just copy this one basically. Of course, this is not how you want to do things, um, but you know, just for the sake of the example. And here we're going to say E, um, you can, could keep it at battery, but you know, it's coming in here with the event arc. So why not use that one? So now whenever these, this event is fired, um, so whenever something has changed in the battery info, um, then we are going to update our battery level text. Um, and as you could see in the E, the event arcs here, you get uh, other things like power source or state. So you can also detect if the battery or if the device is connected to um, like the power grid and it's starting to charge or it's disconnected or whatever. So that's all things that you can detect with this event. Um, the same thing you have for the energy saver. Um, so that's also something that you can detect the changes with. So let me quickly stop this and run it again. And then we should see um, our, well, beautiful UI again. Um, but now with the energy saver, um, and uh, we should also be able to see changes in our battery level. Um, and that's kind of interesting, because um, again, um, Android is the only emulator that supports this. I don't know about UWP, actually, but I don't think they have this as well. So if you go here to the emulator on the right, and you click on the three dots here at the bottom, um, you will get this screen with um, all kinds of settings that you can set for this emulator and it, it ranges from location. Um, I think I've maybe have shown that um, with like the GPS things, the geolocation of Xamarin Essentials as well. Um, you can uh, tinker with like the cellular things. So how good is the signal and all that. But we have also the battery and a lot of other things, but also the battery. Um, so if I change here the charge level, you can see that it also updates here in our UI. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so you this way you can, you know, test all your changes with like the event, um, if it behaves the way it should be without using the actual physical device and um, waiting for, you know, uh, a percentage to drop and um, uh, each time having to wait because the batteries are 
pretty, you know, batteries for me could be better. Uh, the more battery power, the longer I can use my phone, so that's great. Uh, but if you have to wait for it to drop a percentage, then you're going to have a bad time probably. Um, so here you have also the charger connection, so you can say, okay, I want it to um, simulate it charging right now. Battery health, I don't think that is something that you can detect with um, these APIs, but um, you know you can test all these kinds of things here. Battery uh, state is charging, yes or no. So the thing that you cannot test here um, is like the energy saver thing. I think you can go into the settings of this emulator, of course, to um, you know try that out. Um, you can see that it's off right now. Um, but this is um, how you can use and test the battery APIs in Xamarin Essentials. And are you feeling fully recharged? Um, so we've seen how to use those battery APIs. Um, let me know in the comments. Maybe there is some use cases that I have not thought of. Um, there's a good chance I didn't. So let me know in the comments um, if you've liked this video. What are those other scenarios? Are you using this? Are you thinking of using this? Um, also, like this video. As always, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll be seeing you for my next video.